my thoughts. Near on unachievable these days. So what... What did Jackie decide of here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, I'm still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way. Just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. I'm calling Pan Am. Pan Am? Just want to hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? Won't keep you long. Just... Wanted to hear you. Hmm. You picked an interesting hour for it. V? Okay, what's going on? To know that we'll see each other again. What? You know, fine. Fuck no, off. no, not like that. Make up your mind. Something. Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. You know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. Mm hmm Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. I'm gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. I'm gonna try this with Pan Am. Like, trust her more than any of your iron for hire chumbas. Have it your way. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out, uh. Just want to be there for it. Where? See you inside, Mikoshi. Johnny? Okay, just me now. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny, I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. 
Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? Yeah. Yeah, this might not fly over the hollow. Mikoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The river? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. You have to wait. Mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Definitely, Johnny. He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. Huh. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Uh-huh. V, have you been keeping something from me? Huh? What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh... <clears throat> no. I'm fine. Okay. And Johnny's? The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. You scared me, you know that. Didn't think anything could scare you. 
Hey, we're here to help, okay? Come on, everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. You too, Misty. And thanks for everything. Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? What happened? You passed out on the way. We tried shaking you awake, to no avail. Sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on. I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Fred, I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky dink convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you out. is solid salt. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you used... V. Finally. How's your health? Needed some sleep is all. Heard you were already cooking up a plan. We still have details to iron out. But we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date? Completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky, but if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plum fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps cirques. We would only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? What's a Cirque? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower, then go on to Mikoshi. Construction site. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked? Militech out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Uh-huh. Sounds doable in theory to me. No competing ideas? Then let's get prepping. We'll need bucket loads more information. It's the only way to determine if this plan holds It'll water. It'll be full of holes no matter what we turn up, Saul. I can tell you that already. But what's the alternative? To call off the assault? To let him uh, die? Pan Am is right. We have to accept these risks come what may. That much we owe you. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. 
or anything else you need? Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about. It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Pan Am thinks so too? You'd have to ask her yourself. CB, you're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. We need a decent neck connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She's... It's... An AI. From... Out past the black wall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck maybe. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. You might as well have started with once upon a time. But that's just it. It doesn't matter where we go, we're strangers in our own land. Every state is practically its own country. It wasn't any different back then. Unity is a state of mind, Teddy. An imagined community. At least here, now, you know where you stand. Look at it this way. Life can't disappoint if you don't have expectations, illusions. Maybe that's exactly what freedom is, brother. If that's freedom, why do I feel like I can't breathe? Like somebody's gripped my throat and won't let go? Like I said, Teddy, it's a state of mind. Or, you know, the air. Prep coming along all right? Hey, <laughs> you call this prep? I'd call it a damn improvisation. But that's just Can me. it, Bobby. Lo and behold, isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner. Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So, nitrous oxide injection into military hardware? Heard Raffins do the same thing with their armored pickups for going after convoys. Except it isn't exactly stable. You'd think you plain couldn't jazz up a panzer that way, huh? When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take her for a spin now? Want to get a feel for her over the terrain. Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. 
That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Firepower up top. What is it? A rapid-fire 70mm multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Hey, Saul sent me. Chamai, brother of the backers. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. Prefer nobody knew I was there. Your tech up to it? Up to it, he asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. Not at all curious what I'm going in for? You don't ask me. I don't ask you. That is the path to a lasting relationship, brother. Everything is ready. You can go in. Ice-filled tub. Favorite bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vectors, brother. what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense system slowly give in. Saying, the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside, with reality. You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Johnny's currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger, a backseat dreamer of a world not his own. I had no choice. It was the only way I could come here, meet with you. Repression. You are good at this, and improving. Let me get this straight. I mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny. And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because mm. for a second you were displeased, and I seemed a side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting, 
informative. Need your help, Walt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Speak for yourself. Didn't you cheat death? Is this what you believe? Your code, your consciousness. AIs live beyond reality's boundary. They live forever. But we are not immortal. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. Why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that. Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. Hmm. Guess that'd be... human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect there, in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. There anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Constructs will be integrated? I mean you're gonna absorb them? Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You wanna destroy Mikoshi. Swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Not sure Johnny would like the sound of that. And yet he is absent, because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. <laughs> Hardly. Doubt you first gab with those constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What's on the shard? A vectored virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. This is how you will get me into Mikoshi. Only then will I be able to help you. I hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. Should I look for a specific access point? Can I already tell you I saw the way to Tokyo will be back in every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 105. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're alright? Sorry about the damage. <sighs> Nothing is alright, Carol. My mind, my body, it's going to pieces. If I don't get to Mikoshi, Calm and yourself, fast... child. You gotta keep it together. You're still buzzing with adrenaline. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would've... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. 
He came around looking for you. On my way. I were on the road. It's the rush. Nice get up. Fire and Mike. Wish I were on the road. What's your problem? Huh? You don't want to fuck with me. Welcome to reality. Huh. Either you live for Saul. You want an award? Hop up here. What's with the gathering? Something off? It's nothing about the raid. Hop on and you'll find out. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another war. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Solly, are you all sure about this? Does this look like one big jest? Look, I know what this means. I used to wear clan colors, too. But to be an Aldecaldo, I... I don't know if you Just should answer the question. Are you ready? Speech! Do your worst. Speech! You're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo, dammit. Right there. Thanks for everything, V, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the welcome way of it? Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Alda Caldo. Come on, V. Welcome to the club. Should they say? Easy to gain a Cobra's trust than an Aldecaldo's. Well spoken. So I know how much this means. To you. To me. Thank you. Will not let you down. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. Some basketball to you. found glory. You could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? Miss this, you, well you know. Not. The camaraderie. I know. I saw it. 
in your heart the first time we met. Probably because I was missing it too. Then. In Night City, you're alone, even in a crowd. But here, it feels like I'm part of something important. So you are where you need to be. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. I need me some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. You got any left? I might have. You have to look around. So maybe I'll take two more 45s. CNS Dakota seems to be feeling generous today. Fuck you! You, uh... mad at me? I once found a dead magpie under the hood of my car. It had been a cold night. The magpie, looking for warmth, had found the engine. We couldn't get out next morning. Got cooked alive. I still remember this smell. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry I even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, B. Remember that. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be... The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. No, no. C major, then G. KK, hold on. KK, hold on. Hey, I stink at this. How are things, Jake? All good? Great, I'd say. The kidney's taken just like a new oil filter. You have my thanks, V. Hey, know any samurai songs? On a night like this, I'm not thinking about anarchy. It's all about unity, brother. Know this number?
beautiful day, huh? Fire and might. The sensors malfunction at higher elevation. Hey, how you been, Bruce? Sprouted your first shy roots yet? Hey, V. Got a worn out truth for you. Camps aren't all alike. Feel at home here. I mean, like, it's possible I'll make this my home. Dakota says I got valuable knowledge, like uh, safe passages south, areas to avoid. I don't know, but feels good. I'm glad to hear it. It's a good place for you, this. Yeah, hope it will be. Thanks again, V. Take a seat. We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Oh, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates for good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. Well, well, not bad. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? Fee, you must know where they stand. Do you? You think it's really that bad between them? The truth is we need cash. And fast. Amen. This Mikoshi's a personal thing to you. But Saul, he sees an opportunity for the clan. If anyone of the family is still left standing tomorrow. Talk to them. They've buried the hatchet. Buried the hatchet? Well, I'm really glad they've come to agree on sending us on a suicide mission. Be cool now, Bobby. There's nothing personal, V. I'm just saying how things are. This is all my fault. I'm exposing the entire family to danger. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. The situation is fixing to be a doozy, sure. But if the other caldos are to rise from the ashes, It'll be thanks to you, and thanks to this raid. Huh. For once, I agree with him. I want to give Saul a fair chance here. Planned everything as best he could. He should start planning his own retirement. Would you want to take his place? <laughs> Not in a thousand years. So I thought. Let's focus on tomorrow. We can talk politics once the dust settled. I'm in. Can promise you one thing. All the Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. Easy on the promises, V. But you're right. This clan has a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, if this crazy ass plan works, it'll be a fresh start for the Aldecaldos, I say. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says, it. Hey, now. I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. Thank you. 
All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. Do you fellas really think we'll find anything of value there? It seldom happens, but they both seem to agree on that point. I'm going to buy myself a vintage RV. <laughs> Old age is hitting hard, huh? <laughs> Screw you all. Hey, yourself? Yeah, I love you, sis. Business. I too have got things to do, you know. I think we'll pull through tomorrow. I know these people. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. Yeah, I bet they will. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. So... Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me, if we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split were it to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Now you're using me. The clan will grab spoils from Akoshi while you do Pan Am a favor by helping me out. Not bad, Saul. You don't even believe that. You think I put the clan at peril for my own gain? What for? You're not the kind of guy to willingly surrender power. And if all is lost tomorrow, who will I govern? Dust and ghosts? You're wrong, B. This isn't about power. That jacket wasn't for nothing, B. You'll understand soon enough what it's like to be part of a whole. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. Speechless. What's up, boy? life in Night City. Wish I were on the road. <sighs> so. This might be the end. You outside of your head. She wants to quit her job in Colorado and come here. Except there might not be a here tomorrow. Brother, we don't know that. But if you send that, she's going to imagine the worst. Is that what you want? So what am I supposed to write? That you... Benedict, right? V. Hey, how's things? Everything going all right? It's going. Yourself? Dakota told me to sit tight for a while longer. Militech's still sniffing, just have to wait it out. Starting to get itchy hands, though, you know? Best not to fuck with Dakota. That's good advice. And look out for yourself.
Look what the cat dragged in. Gotta keep moving. Aim to prep for tomorrow? You could say that. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. I heard that a long time ago, right about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow. So I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Dad, I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in fifteen seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. Begin. Stop! It'll do. But I swear I heard your thoughts rumbling on. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. Good. Really good, in fact. How about you? I'm trying to get the Panzer running. She's stubborn, our dame, but I won't give either. So, time for a ride? Sure she's ready? You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this'll have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. Fire up. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V.
seem like she's tending to the left? Fixable, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Feels better, doesn't it? Seems so. Last another, just to be sure. Yep, beautiful. All right, that's probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Heading back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. Nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? Uh, why the hell not? Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails, during the war or even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. So... Not afraid of anything at this point? If only it was that simple. I'm not concerned about tomorrow. Raids like that are second nature. It's what's going on in the camp. Eh, no matter. I'm talking silly now. Come on. All in the family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shake-up. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saul ought to step down? Pass the torch to Pan Am? We'll see how things look tomorrow, once the smoke is cleared. 
Your turn. What do you reckon? Mitch, not gonna be facing a ragtag band of Raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're together. They're trying. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. Question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? It'll ease folks' fears. Buy Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. I saw the most stars. Mount Sinai, at the peak. Since when were you in Egypt? I used to work on a tanker, so I've been pretty much everywhere. But those stars on Sinai, millions of them, at the tips of your fingers. You think someone's, you know, out there? I mean, the Milky Way has at least a hundred billion stars, right? Which means you'd be looking at around 200 billion planets that could support life. And that's just in our galaxy. So why haven't they made contact yet? Because they don't give two licks about us. <laughs> I mean, look around. Would you? <clears throat> we have a saying. Catch you on the trail. Something's gnawing at you, I can tell. Whatever it is, 
You can tell me. Nothing's gnawing at me. Stop, this is irksome. Pan Am. Have you... I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? Exactly. Who if not you? That's what I mean. It shouldn't be me. It should be... Saul? If only he hadn't gone and made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... I'll be right there with you tomorrow. Whatever happens, we'll be together. We'll manage. I don't know what I would do without you. You do what you needed to. What do you know? V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Not as much as I'm afraid for you. Come here. Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. Time to head back, maybe? No. Let's sit here a while longer. This is doing me good. More than I thought. All right, let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new.